click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, what we are going to see today is what is rolling and what are the different parameters while rolling is carried out. They are different but easy and what are they we are going to see in this video. So first we will talk about what is rolling. In this, a normal ingot or a normal slab is converted. If I talk about ingot or the slab, it is a bigger part, like a bigger object. It is converted into small blooms, billets or rods. How it is converted? By passing it through different rolls n number of rolls, how much thickness is required and how much your roll is to be passed. So if it's passed to different rolls, you can also make different types of sheets by using the rolling process. And the final product can be finished depending on the type of roll you are using and depending on the material to be rolled. So finishing also plays an important role. In this diagram you can see that there are two simple rolls and the material passes between that roll. As you can see the rolls are very much near to each other. You can make thin sheets by passing your material to the rolls. But if the ingot or your slab is big like it is this much size and you have to make small thin sheets it has to pass through many rollers that are known as roll passes passing an ingot or a slab through many small rollers or big rollers for making blooms billet or even your thin sheets so this is a process is known as roll passes so in this diagram you can see that a two rollers are used an object which is thicker at one side and it is thinner at other side. So heights are mentioned of thicker side as well as the thinner sides. Two rollers are used and you can see that as your rollers are moving due to friction your material is pulled and it goes to the other side like from one side to the other side and the thickness of the material is reducing. Now how it is done? It can be done through cold rolling as well as hot rolling process but the grains which is inside the material bends and it gets crushed and it gets joined. So in this way thicker part can be rolled to form thinner parts. So the nomenclatures we can see in this diagram is your input velocity, roll radius and your height which is given, height which is more and less. At the entrance is more, at the end it is less. So I'll talk about roll gaps. Can you see the two rollers and the object which is passing through the rollers? There is an entry zone, there is an exit zone. So between that there can be a roll gap which is formed. So now in this diagram I'll just talk about the velocity. What is velocity? Basically if I'll say you a basic example when your roller is coming and your object is coming between the rollers what happens the object passes through the rollers. So the entrance velocity would always be more and the inlet velocity would be less. So Velocity of the roll plays a major part. Your entrance velocity, like the entrance where, where your exact roll is coming, would be always less than your roll velocity. When I'll talk about the exit, your exit velocity would be always more than your roll velocity. So this phenomena is always used in rolling because of the friction, because of the pulling of the roll. It is very simple. Whenever an object is pushed between the rolls, it is going out outside it will go at a very high pace rather than coming coming would be very difficult as it has to get squeezed between the rollers so hence it is proved that outside velocity is always more so in this slide i'll just talk about one of the major parameter is position of the neutral axis which is between your entry and the exit zone when your rolling is done completely when the last part of your object or your material is passing through your neutral axis your roller skids so it skids and your material gets passed. So the position of the neutral axis changes at every point of time. Hence, maximum reduction, which is delta H, can be given as mu square into R. So these are different rolling parameters which are to be considered while doing your rolling process. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.